Assalamu alaikum from Dhamam Saudi Arabia, where we make coffee while traveling simple and easy. This time I brought the C2C X Brew, which is this silicone based conical drip brewer that collapses and also has a mesh filter. When you receive the unit, the mesh filter is already installed in it. And once you take it out to clean it, you can never get it back in again. It's really a pain in the butt to get it back in. I've actually never gotten it back in. So I. I... Anyway, so you have this silicone brewer and it, the nice thing is that folds up really flat that's the great thing like it takes up very little space in your baggage and if you want you can also get the matching x cup and it folds down so you can put those together and you've got a really compact coffee brewing setup with some Melita number four paper filters they actually have a kettle in here they also offer some coffee the nestle and coffee mate not really great stuff so i'm glad i brought my own coffee which is the house nation from spro coffee Get some below. To use the X-Brew, accordion it out. The X-Brew is a flat bottom brewer, so you can use Kalita type 185 filters in this as well. So let's get some water boiling. We're gonna grab the kettle, take it over to fill it up in the sink, and oh, we can't do that. Actually, if you notice here, it says, this water is not suitable for drinking. It's non-potable, which, you know, maybe it's all right. I'm not willing to take that chance, you know, I have had my own bouts with dysentery and other travel maladies, so I prefer not to say that. So good thing I've got some bottled water in the fridge. Let's go get that. And we're gonna use this little bottle of Nestle. And the nice thing about this, it's a, it's a relatively small bottle, so no need to measure too much. This particular bottle is 330 milliliters which is about 10 ounces or so. So that's just about the right amount that I want to drink and prepare. So I'm just gonna open that up, put that in the kettle, turn it on and let it rip. So as the kettle's boiling, I'm gonna set up the brewer to get the conical filter in there and then start adding some coffee. And again, I'm traveling, so I don't wanna carry a lot of gear. So there are no scales. I'm just using my intuition and my experience to gauge how much coffee I really wanna have in this particular cup. All right, so now that the water is fully heated, brought to a boil. Now it's just time to brew. So we're gonna start off by pulsing the water over the coffee just to fully hydrate it. You know, we're following basic procedures here. So pulsing more or less 70 to 85 milliliters of water. Pulse that out, get all of the grounds fully saturated and give it about 30 seconds to bloom and, and just kind of get good and juicy. And then from there, we're just gonna give a couple more pulses a little bit more pouring. We're gonna pour in intervals to allow the water to fully submerge the coffee without necessarily lifting the coffee bed higher. When you lift the coffee bed higher, a lot of coffees, as the bed then flows down, you'll get coffees that'll get stuck on the side of the basket and they just don't, and they're just not part of the extraction, which we want them to be part of the extraction. So just keep going with that until you've exhausted all the water. And that's the nice thing because we only have 330 milliliters in the bottle. We don't really have to worry too much about gauging how much water we poured. Once we run out, we're pretty much done. And the only thing you really have to worry about that I didn't think about earlier on is, does the cup have the right size? Like if it, if it turns out to be 300 milliliters, in volume, we could have a problem, <laughs> you know, overflowing and things like that. All right, so once that's all done, looking really good, it's just a matter of making sure that the liquid has fully drained through, and then the basket, just pick up the whole thing, take it over, toss the, the ground coffee in the trash, and you're pretty much done. Now you're ready to go and drink and have a nice time with it. So here it is, I've got the coffee right now. Beautiful lake. Fruity notes from the natural processed coffees that are part of the blend in the House Nation. Oh yeah, that's, that turned out beautiful. Juiciness, fruitiness, a little bit of chocolate. Really, really what I like in the morning. And I don't have any donuts. Shukran Habibi.